Today I'm going to show you how to get 10,000 gold in the next two hours. And not just that, but chests if you need that for a quest line, and mimics if you're lucky enough. Huge thank you to Xbox Dimensions, Reflect, and Storm God in research for this video. They really made this video possible, but it all starts with a safe cracking quest line. I have to show a screenshot because I completely finished this quest line in preparation for the video, but you can see the last stage gives you 1,500 gold. The entire quest line gives you 9,000 gold. So if you're watching this in a season where cram session is not available, and you just generally want to farm dungeons, that's okay. This is still going to be a good guide for getting safes or chests if you need that, or mimics in general. I'm going to be going over all of that in Inferno today. If you guys want a specific guide on all the different dungeon zones, I maybe might be able to do that, but Inferno seems to be the most efficient, and it's super easy. It'll take care of whatever you need to take care of. And if you're specifically trying to go through Inferno solo or quickly, I do have a dungeon speedrunning guide linked down below. That is a really, really good companion video to this one because my teammates will be taking care of the missions while I go along and I'm just going to be doing a walkthrough while we go. Something worth mentioning if you're watching this video immediately upon release is that I have a reminder video showing you everything you want to pick up from the shop before the uh, season ends. That's in a couple of days. The season's ending very soon, but if you follow this guide and you finish the safe cracking quest, you'll be able to afford six different weapons or three different heroes with some gold left over. I should also say that you also get the uh, chest loot. So we're going to be picking up a ton of chests and you get a lot of reperk as you go along. I don't know what the rarities are, but you're going to be picking them up while you're farming safes, I think. So you're going to take care of both quests at the same time. You're going to get perk up and gold and it's going to be a good time. So let's launch in game and uh, give you guys a little walkthrough. Actually, before we hop in game, here's the loadout I'm using. I don't know if this is fully optimal, but this is sort of just the Flash AC build from that dungeon speedrunning uh, video. We got Blast in the Past, Saurian Focus for energy, Parasaur Jest just to heal us. It's a really, really basic build, couple of phase shift support perks, but work work is kind of nice because we're going to be breaking open a lot of walls today, and sometimes you run out of energy, and that's just a nice thing to have. So uh, now <laughs> let's hop in game and start the walkthrough. All right, the game's beginning. So... Via the nature of this video, it kind of needs to be a walkthrough, because if I just cut around and teleport around the dungeon, I'm going to confuse everybody. But this dungeon guide starts the same way everyone does. You pick up a key, and then the mini gunners break, break open all the different monoliths. Once again, the dungeon speedrunning video down below shows you how to solo this very efficiently. But if you're, as, if you're working as a team, the uh, speedrunner just runs to the end and then waits for them to break all the different monoliths. All right, now we're about to open the door, and the first chest is immediately on your left. I have to say this now, and I have to say it clearly. This might not show the location of every single chest on the map. We ran this mission about 10 different times in preparation for this video, and we were finding new chests right up until the end. So if you guys find chests that I missed and you want to comment down below, please do so. It's uh, really confusing to show these different locations. In fact, this one is actually on this back side. I uh, thought you could access it from the other side, and it's also worth noting that I believe... Again, correct me if, if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, but I believe the tier three chests all can be mimics. There are a couple of locations in here that absolutely can be mimics, and uh, I won't be going over the secret chest locations. These do exist, and that one is right there if you want it, but sometimes it's in a different spot, and I don't try to show it because of consistency. Now, behind this wall can be a mimic. This one is not, as you can see, but this one can and has been a mimic a lot of times in testing. I, again, it's just a working theory. I, I think the, uh, the, the the tier threes are the ones that can be mimics. Comment down below if they have set locations. In all of my testing, I did not see a single chest change rarities. So I'm pretty sure that the ones that are what they are, stay what they are. So there's another tier three that may or may not be a mimic. The one that I showed earlier absolutely can be a mimic. And I will say right over here, Oh my goodness, I failed to build twice. On the right, absolutely can be a mimic. I watched it happen with my own eyes right behind this broken wall. And uh, there it is. Hey, look at that. I can actually prove it this time. Also, this one can be a teleporter. And there can be a key over here. So don't uh, don't teleport yourself. Be careful. And I know that uh, a lot of people are looking for mimics for their early game quest line that give V-Bucks. Or there might just be a dungeon quest to give you mimics and you might get teleported like me. That's okay. All we did was go back into the other room and we can run straight through here. Again, you can see why I want to do a walkthrough because if I just cut around and try to make this a snappy quick edit it would be really confusing as I'm teleporting everywhere and it would be extremely hard to follow so the only way to show this with any cohesiveness would be to like sit down with you guys and just run through it. I'm going to skip all these enemies. I'm in the lowest power level. The uh, safe cracking quest line caps out around power level 52 so 
you can just queue the lowest power level you can. If you're a max level player, that's 88, but you can just queue anything above 52 should take care of all of them. This is always empty. It's a fake out. I have never seen that to actually have anything. And this is the first divergence. If you are specifically trying to speed run safes, just run right through here. We'll continue on there in a little bit. But if you really want to get as many chests as possible, perhaps you're doing the other side of that quest line. There is one right over here. It's tier five every single time. So you can just go ahead and pick that up. I don't know why I'm picking these up. I think you get a little bit of extra gold but if you don't have a quest to complete i'm not really sure you need it so i think that's the last chest over here uh once again continuing on with that room that i mentioned skipping through here we uh have this area right here where i don't think there's anything but i've already mentioned that there were some chests around here that i missed i'm gonna go ask her about it all right just in the same room that i left off here but before we catch up with her there is one tier four chest down here as well uh always tier four right there in that spot now let's continue on over here i think that's it for this area if i miss some chests obviously you guys can comment down below but it's also not a big deal if you get most of the chests per run you'll be good but this is a very important part of the video this is the first guaranteed safe there are three in this run three safes per run that's why i said 2000 gold an hour because if you just dink around solo maybe you're going really slow maybe you're not as practiced you should be able to complete this in 10 minutes tier 5 chest by the way and if you take you know if you, if you get all three safes per run you will complete one level of safe cracking per run and if it takes 10 minutes that's 100 minutes that's loosely where i'm saying in the next two hours i think you guys should be able to do it but as you're running through this area this broken wall can be a tier four chest right here and i'm going to follow up with a walry i think because i thought she found a chest i think right down oh i got teleported so i'm just back up at the top here that's where the safe was just to orient you guys i know dungeons can be really really confusing in fact i am going to see See if I can take a shortcut. I might confuse everybody at the same time here, but I thought this is where I was. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna show you why I'm confused right now. So we ran through here all the way around here, grabbed this chest on the left, and then there's this drop down right here. I wanted to check this wall, but it was actually in this room right off to the side where it already found her chest right there. So there's one tier four that can spawn right here. And uh, I think getting confused in the video just shows how crazy these dungeons can be. They're, they're very, very wild. In fact, this is where a key can spawn. And right up here is also another spot where the key can spawn. And when we're speed running, this is where we run straight through. I think we got every chest up there, but there is one more tier four down here. Really easy to miss. You run right past it if you're just speed running and going quick, but uh, I think that's the last one in this area. Again, if I'm wrong, it should be okay. A commenter down below can let you guys know. But in general, that should be enough chest to complete at least one stage of the of the chest quest. On the left, I think is a chest. Yep, yeah, tier five every single time. Again, I've never found the rarities to change at all, but we're going to be skipping along there. Yeah, a little Ben's War Cry from the stream. I do record these on stream, by the way. Twitch link down below if you want to be a part of that. There can be the... Um, why is it doing that? <laughs> there can be a little secret room right there, but I don't really bother with those because I don't think they're worth it. It's super out of your way, and I don't like doing them. I did not find any chests in this location over here, so I'm just going to skip right past it because this one definitely has some chests. This is the second guaranteed safe every single run. Really, really nice to just pick this one up. If you're in the early stages of safe cracking, you only need one or two saves. Maybe it's two. Um, so you can just pick that up and skip it. Uh, maybe you can just like skip to the end of the game at this point. You can probably stop there if you're just trying to be efficient with your time. Obviously, as the one making the guide here, I got to show them all because there is not only a key spawn location, one of the few over here, um, but I thought there was a chest around here. I might be wrong. Little egg on my face face but like i said there was a lot of research involved in this video we had to run this mission like a dozen times and uh i remember checking the same spots every time there's a key spot up there as well and a key and a key spot down there and just to show you guys all my inferno knowledge there's another key spawn right down here as far as safes and chests i'm gonna just uh, reconnect this area in case you got a little turned around by all of that this is the lava. We just came through there. We just came from that direction and we are going up, up right here. And uh, there can be a monolith right here as well. So if your teammates are ever a little slow to do that, you can do that. You can go ahead and break that monolith. But there is a tier six chest every single time. Bunch of weapons and gold. Obviously the weapons go away at the end of the thing, but then we're done. Just kidding. The very last 
The very last guaranteed safe is right here. These are shared amongst your entire team, by the way. So, uh, yeah, once you do that, you will have whatever quest you're on completed as far as safe cracking. The most you ever need is three safes in one game, so that's why I said just run this ten times. And then, finally, in the boss room, there is one more tier six at the top here. I cannot wait to read the comments on this video and see how many chests I missed. But honestly, as I said, in my defense, you should have gotten all the chests you need. And if you got lucky, as I said, a couple of those might have been mimics. And if you're looking to get those early, early game V-Box mythic, I'm sorry, V-Box mimic um, quests completed. I think it's like 30 v box for finding Mimics. There will be a couple of guaranteed ones here, and, uh, yeah. As I'm posting this video, there are a couple of days left in the season, but I'm gonna flashbang you guys in case you're in a dark room with the timeline. This is linked in the description of every single video because it's super useful. It showcases when stuff comes back around, and I can show you here that I am recording this right at the end of this season. We're gonna be over in a couple of days, but Dungeons is actually available for, uh, couple of different seasons so you can see in this uh april 5th to june 4th timeline dungeons is available during the yellow and during the purple so for 40 percent of the year this guide is really good and i think cram session is only this season uh it might come out in a different season but i don't believe so it does in in this area but it's not there so safe cracking is only available for like this three week period i'm super late to posting this video as of it going live but i'm gonna keep it public on the channel in case it helps anybody else in the future if you are watching this in 2024 or beyond on, leave a comment down below with what year you're watching because I'm curious how this helps people because I've never made a video on this topic before because it's never been something I was an expert on, but uh, the viewers aforementioned Xbox Dimensions, Reflect, and Storm God came in and uh, shared me a lot of this information and made this video possible. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later. Hey, well, we already said I missed one. <laughs> but I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And then...